Hello friends. Today I am going to show you my live projects, ongoing projects. This is panel body project. This is linear gas fly, box screw linear fly. Okay. This is stepper motor. Stepper motor connected to the linear this box screw. Okay. One limit switch is there. This is for reverse limit switch, reverse position limit switch, and this is forward uh, limit switch. Forward position, end position, limit switch. This is panel for this slide. HMI. You can see this is this button is manual for manual action, forward and reverse. Here we can change the speed of the stepper motor. This is for all SV1, SV2 in manual mode. There are two selector switches. One for control on off, the second for auto manual selection. This is our phase. This shows the panel is power on. This is the inside the panel. Okay, this is PLC, delta PLC in relay board. This is relay board. This is a stepper driver. This one is the SNPS. This is SNPS. You can see the MCB and terminal here. Okay. And you can see here, this is the operating pendant on which the emergency switch is there and cycle start is there. And there are two lamps. Okay. So we have at a sequence of when we start, when we will start this at the cycle start button, this uh, motor will st uh, start uh, rotating forward. And after reaching this end position, and when this limit switch hits, then motor will start in reverse direction. Till home position okay now let's start let's start cycle start let's press cycle start first see the this switch should be in auto position okay so this is in auto position now we will press the cycle start button okay motor starts rotating and slide it forward slide is moving forward right and first lamp is on. We have the application that uh, if motor is rotating forward, the first lamp should be on, and if motor is rotating reverse, the second lamp should be on. You can see the motor is rotating forward, ball screw, little ball screw moving forward. Okay, you can see here once you Actually, this limit switch, limit switch get on. This will start again in reverse direction. Okay, motor start in reverse direction, and another lamp is on. Motor is rotating in reverse direction. So motor will now rotate in reverse direction in this limit switch or home position. Once this limit switch activated, the motor will stop rotating. Okay, motor stop rotating and lamp gets off. Okay, now I am going to explain the ladder logic of this program project. Okay, uh, as you have seen, the PLC is Delta PLC, so ladder logic is in uh, WPL software. This is WPL software and this is a program of this project so i will explain step by step so this is first uh, first ladder i have done the uh, stepper logic uh, speed logic okay uh, m1000 this is always on beat this is always on beat and in always on uh, i have calculated the speed d500 this resistor is uh, setable on hmi so uh, in d500 the value comes from uh, hmi we can enter the value in HMI 
and uh, I have multiple, uh, multiplied this value by 50 and store result in D502 and this 502 is used in DPLSY instruction this uh, this is a speed D502 is a speed for stepper motor this is maximum uh, we can enter uh, 300 here uh, I have set this range in HMI ok uh, second uh, subroutine is for uh, now this is stepper pulses program second subroutine so for pulses I have used uh, DPLSY instruction you can use uh, DDRVA also but uh, I prefer the DPLSY and uh, in this instruction DPLSY this first uh, first register is for speed so D502 is for speed the second register or second constant value is for pulses now here uh, I am not controlling the stepper motor through pulses uh, means I am not controlling by entering the value of pulses so that's why I have uh, entered here constant uh, maximum constant uh, this is maximum value uh, I have travel of the 1300 mm but this value is for more, more than 1300 that's why I have entered the constant here and this is pulses output so why I have uh, connected Y0 to stepper pulses so you can see uh, Y0 uh, gives pulses and down here Y1 is for direction ok so Y0 connected to the pulses Y1 connected to the stepper direction to the drive ok so uh, here this is this program is for manual this this these bits are for the manual ok uh, so if a selector switch in manual it gives me uh, 1 uh, to S0 so if it selector switch in manual and if I press the manual uh, push button from HMI this is uh, this switch is given on HMI it's a momentary switch so when we press uh, momentary switch on HMI I will show you HMI program also in just a minute we'll open the HMI program this is INVT software INVT HMI is there okay so when we press the forward button uh, this is a limits forward uh, limit switch or travel limit switch so you, uh, it is connected in NC that's why here I have taken you know so if you, if you press uh, manual forward in from HMI and uh, switch uh, this limit switch is healthy means it is not pressed it is by nor in normal condition and emergency is also connected in NC so that's why I have taken you know so if this is healthy and this hel this is also healthy and if I press this button then stepper motor will forward in one direction ok so this M0 is set for the forward I will show you the address this is HMI program you can see here for forward I have given M0 address ok and this is inching type button ok so if I press forward it will move in one direction if I press reverse uh, this is a reverse limit switch uh, if this reverse switch is healthy and emergency is also healthy and if I press the reverse PB then stepper motor will forward in reverse direction and for reverse direction I have for same condition means if it, we are in manual mode and we press uh, manual reverse button that is the M1 button then Y1 will be on and Y so Y0 will give the pulses and Y1 give, will give the direction so for reverse direction I have uh, we should must on the Y0 and Y1 both for reverse direction ok and this this logic is for ATO if you, if uh, selector switch is in ATO mode and ATO command is there uh, this bit is uh, I have set on in uh, below I will explain it later ok and this is forward limit switch uh, if this is healthy and this is healthy and this uh, M10 is on then it will uh, move in forward direction stepper motor and uh, if uh, for reverse for reverse uh, M11 will be on and M11 from here it gives the direction and from here it gives the pulses ok this is for direction logic now let's come to the below this logic is for lamp you have seen during forward one lamp is on so here if I have M10 is on then lamp is on uh, here comment is solenoid just ignore it it is a lamp there ok 
in future i'm going to connect the solenoid here so that's why name given the solenoid okay if it is uh, in auto forward then this lamp will be on and this is uh, in manual manual i have given one push button here this is push button for solenoid in manual mode m2 means if m2 phase in manual mode then lamp is on and for second lamp if m3 phase in manual mode then this lamp will be on and in auto mode uh, if m11 is on then this output will be on okay let's see the auto sequence if we are in auto uh, auto mode selector switch in auto mode emergency should be healthy okay and this is a home uh, homing limit switch means reverse limit switch reverse limit switch should be uh, actuated it means uh, it is as it is connected in nc so it uh, if it is pressed then uh, it will give the zero signal to us and if it is a reverse position and we press the cycle start pb then uh, this m10 will be on this is latch from here m10 will get latch and uh, it will uh, stepper motor will for in for move in forward direction and once it, is, it uh, reaches to the end position this limit switch as it is connected in nc okay once it it touch, it actuates then this bit will be off okay so on ldf pulse means if it gets off m10 is off then now uh, m12 is on okay then m12 will get latch from here okay and m12 is on then one timer is started uh, it is a 0.5 second timer and once timer is done this m12 will be off from this nc timer nc okay and if this is off then uh, on this uh, off pulses uh, on the m11 m11 get get on and uh, motor will start uh, stepper motor will start in reverse direction once it reach to home and this limit switch will be pressed and this gives the zero signal and this will be off that, that's it the one auto cycle will be completed okay thank you